I know what y'all thinking. The number one question, what are we gonna do with all of these leftovers? If you ask me, I'm gonna eat them all. Let's get it. Now check this out. I got an idea for you. Something probably some of y'all have never even thought of. Unless you've been on the internet, you've probably seen it before. Listen, we getting ready to make egg rolls, right? So I call them just regular rolls, you know what I mean? But look, we just take our leftovers, we roll them up and we deep fry them. So that combination you did when you had the uh, that dressing, you know, the cranberry sauce, maybe a little bit of the gravy lined up in there. Maybe you want to put a little meat in there also just roll them up and deep fry i'm gonna show you and then i want to know down in the comment section below i want you guys to tell me what is your combination that you like to have on your fork all right so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start adding some oil to my deep fryer right you don't have to have a deep fryer like this you guys know if you got a uh, any pot deep enough you know what i mean or you can use a dutch oven whatever you can to hold some oil just deep enough so that you can get your uh, your rolls down and get them in there submerged, that's all you're gonna do. Now, let me go ahead and get this heated up and I'm gonna show you how I make mine. Okay, folks, so listen, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be looking down in that comment section and I wanna know what your combination is, right? Now, I'm bringing my oil up to 375 degrees. You know what I mean? Cause listen, it doesn't take a lot to heat these up. You don't have to heat up your uh, leftovers. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna make an adjustment here. I'm gonna drop down to about 360 degrees. Because when these become golden brown, that's when all of the inside of the filling will be completely, you know, warmed up and ready to go. Don't forget, these are just leftovers, right? So it's already cooked. Super easy. It's just about getting your combination right, right? So I got some egg roll wrappers right here, right? We got mac and cheese, cornbread dressing. And then I'm going to ask you guys right here. I'm going to put out this right here just so you can see. I don't even have that much of this right here. And the reason I have just a little bit, I got a little bit more in the Tupperware because I knew I was going to be making these, right? This is my gumbo greens. Look, you got shrimp and dewy sauces. And then look at the color. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing but a whole lot of spices. Then when you come over here, you got the head of yams, folks. We got turkey, ham, and this is chicken on this side. Both of these I did and I smoked them. You know what I mean? You guys might have it roasted, but whichever way, it's time to get them. Okay, so listen. My light just went off. I love this right here. My, look, so if you guys haven't had a chance to look inside of that, I can lift this up right now. Look, got my own basket. These right here, just make it real easier. You know, make it real easy on you, right? So my temp is up. I'm at, whew, I'm at 365, I'm good there. Now, pay attention. I'm getting ready to go ahead and just put a little flour here because I don't want nothing to, you know, to stick, right? So I'm gonna push this around like this. That's what I like about these counters here. You can work on these, nothing sticks. Right, so I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now I'm gonna get one of my egg roll wrappers, right? And then when I put it down right here, look at that, nothing sticks, right? Now it's gonna be real simple what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the combination of what I want to be inside of here, right? And I'm gonna probably put it in about a third of the way. You wanna just get yourself a little line, get them about that big. Don't do what I do, because when I roll them up, I make all kinds of mistakes, right? So we're getting ready to make my first one. I got to go with the yams. I'm going to put some of this uh, cornbread dressing in there. I'm going to put a little meat in it and just a little bit of cranberry to go along with it too, right? So check me out. I really need to say this part too. So listen, what we're going to do is make an envelope, right? So actually, I don't start this way. I start with it like this. And then we roll, right? Then we take these, we tuck in. And now this right here is up to you guys. You can use, this is just a beaten egg, you know, dip, 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 and just to, and then to make, you know, to seal it, or you can use water. Either one, it doesn't, it's really up to you. I'm just do, using the one egg right now just to show you. You didn't see it earlier because I was just getting ready to fill up a little thing with water. You know, fill up one of these ramekins with water and then go from there. Now, let's get started. Remember, put the point like this, it should be shaped like a diamond once you get it right. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this in here. And this is where you gotta like have a little refrain. You don't wanna put a whole lot in here because what you wanna do is roll it up. You don't want it to be busting at the seams, right? So. And remember, I didn't heat nothing up, right? You just want to get some so you just know, oh, these are Thanksgiving egg rolls. I'm gonna grab some of this turkey. Excuse me, this is the chicken. Grab some of that. This is some of that breast, just a little bit, right? Now I know we got the yams in there and those were sweet, right? But check this out. I'm getting ready to add just a little bit more sweetness to us. So we're gonna put some of that cranberry. Now you guys let me know this year, did you guys do your, did you go with cranberry in a can? Or did you do it your, you know, your own way? And I just showed everybody how to make it. It tastes like the can. You know what I mean? Just to put something else out there, and especially for them non-believers when they say, ah, no, nah, I don't like real cranberries. I kind of like bring it down this way. Should have been more so on a third, right? And then what we want to do is we just want to roll it just like this, right? 
Then I take it and I bring this into play. I just bring this over like that, All right? Kind of like tuck this in there, bring it like that. And then we roll to here. Now, watch my finger. Just a little bit of this here. It's gonna open up on you. And believe me, your first one is always a little tricky. After that, you figure out your, you know, your course and what you want it to do. Bring that in like that. Roll this like this. And like I said, the first one always looks a little tricky, but after that, we roll. Okay, so I already told you everything was hot. It's up to temp. I want you guys to come over here and take a look at these right here. You know what? I'll bring them to y'all this time. Look at that. This is what you want. And now we can go ahead and dip. Now notice what I'm getting ready to do now. It's already hot, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I like just bring it across like this. You can see it starts to fry it a little bit. Then I just dunk them down, right? All right, so listen, when you put them in, I like to give it a little shake. You can see they starting to like little, you know, like float a little bit. You can go ahead and put this top on or whatever. You have a splatter shield over your uh, Dutch oven or you can put the top on that. So it don't get, you know, you don't get no splatter over the outside and you let them go. Now we're looking for a golden brown, you know, color to them. Once we achieve that, then we take them out. Believe me, that hot grease right there cook and warm up everything. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update. It's been about four minutes. Take a look at these. Look at that right there. They coming. All right, so I'm gonna leave these down there probably for about another three, maybe about another three minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and take these up like this. Let them drip dry. And them right there is right, folks. Okay, folks. So check it out. Here they go. Listen to this. You know, they nice and ready. Only reason why I have a lot of, you know, I was able to make these rolls right here is because I knew I was going to be making this video, right? So I kind of like set some little, you know, a few things off to the side. You know what I mean? Just to make sure that I could do it. I always talk about making these, you know, and filming them, but I never do. So once you got them, just go ahead, cut them, you know what I mean? Like this, right? When you open them up right there, you can see. Look at that right there. Yes, sir. Now that's that whole Thanksgiving rolled up into a roll, right? And it's crispy. And you know what this is right here? This is a little gravy, right? So if I dip this in there like that, I mean, y'all do it the way y'all want to do it. Let me go take a little bit of this roll, Mary, y'all. Right? You see that right there? Check this out, folks. Happy after Thanksgiving. Cheers. Mm. Man, this inside is hot. Just cornbread dressing. Ooh. Ain't nothing to put down because I knocked off that half. And to be honest with you, when you take them like this and you just keep dunking them in that gravy, I got it. Hey, you got to love the day after Thanksgiving. Hey, you know, especially them greens, right? If you got any greens or anything left over. If your family didn't beat you up and take everything out the door with them when they left, right? So start saving it. For those of you guys that got it, we egg rolling. Hey, with that being said, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And check this out, folks. I'm going to grab this. We finna dunk twice, and I'm out. Peace.